All right, everyone, welcome to Street City Studio. I'm John, and in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about 3D printing. Now, I haven't talked much about this on the channel yet, uh, but if you don't know, I do 3D printing. Uh, I've made models, I do the printing, I, I have a filament printer, and I have a resin printer as well. Uh, I, have a, I have a 3D scanner, uh, and this head right here is a 3D scan that I took of my own head and then I cleaned up the model myself because if you work with uh, 3D scans you'll know they need cleaning up a bit uh, and so this head right here is a 3D scan of myself by myself printed by myself painted by myself right uh, but that's uh, not the only thing I've printed. I've printed a good handful of things. Now, my printers are both packed away right now just for space, and I haven't been using them very much. Uh, this this is probably one of the last things I did um, three months ago, maybe. <clears throat> probably right before I started the channel up. Uh, but I thought I'd bring in a few things that I've printed and talk about them. Oh, there's some fuzzers. I hate that. Should have took a look at it before. Just pulled it out of the box, right? But I've got uh, a good handful of models that I've made. Uh, this one is from Masters of the Universe, if you don't recognize it. It is from the Dolph Lundgren he-Man movie masters of the universe movie. I made this and designed this. I'm not exactly sure I had a I had a custom of Dolph Dolph Lundgren's He-Man in in scale uh, But I'm not sure where he's going to at the moment somewhere in a fodder box uh, But that's what this was made for For masters of the universe figures Three and three quarters, so without He Man and Skeletor here, I guess uh, I guess I get to sit in the throne of Grayskull, huh? That's a good idea. That sounds good to me. Uh, well, Some that have gotten a little more screen time on the channel here. Uh, I've got this alleyway that I designed, printed, and painted. Let's get. And it actually came off, it comes off like that. Printed in two pieces. But i just. Locks right in there like that. Another one I did. With this bombed out wall. This brick wall. Yeah, let's see if I can. Got this window. Also, have some of these Star Wars terminals that I printed, designed and printed. The two of them are just for good measure. You don't get enough. Uh, they're a little rough. I need to uh, finish them off or whatever. Sand them out and stuff. But that's why I haven't used them a lot. Another one I do like to use a lot is this one. 
Now, I did not design this, this one. Uh, this was one of my first prints. And this one... So this one, I got off a thing of verse from some tabletop games, I guess, some terrain pieces, and I scaled it up. And this was kind of one of the first things I did learning to print. And it's it's actually hollow. I didn't it has zero infill, so it's super thin and light. Um, it even has some holes, some weak spots. You can kind of see where it's sunk through there uh, and this one is the same there's a little terrain piece from thingiverse that i enlarged uh, i should have enlarged it bigger but i didn't exactly know what i was doing when i printed it uh, and by the time i started knowing what i was doing uh, i was trying to print my own models and make make my own models and they've gotten a little more complex you can see like this one's really simple shapes but once you get into things like 3d scanning and uh, making some of these models yourself when I did this for example or these even right I had no idea how to do something more complicated like that, but you learn as you go. You get one stone under your foot so you can lift up to the next step, right? Just like climbing a ladder or rungs. Right? But I'm a big fan of 3D printing as far as toys uh, especially dioramas and accessories like I said custom head sculpts right. I get I get I don't know you <clears throat> about you guys I know not everybody has self customs uh, but I get a big kick out of it I like to see me in the Batmobile or the Millennium Falcon Right, sitting in my favorite vehicles, right? Like this right here, right? Just pop that door open and sit me down in it, right? I get a big kick out of that. Right? And so 3D, 3D printing is a great way to kind of get some of those pieces that you know you'll never get, right? Like a Masters of the Universe movie, right? And maybe not even necessarily things you couldn't get, but more specifically what you needed or what I, for me, what I needed, what I wanted, right? Because this alley... I use this alley so much. Sometimes it's front and center, you know, sometimes it's back in the corner. It just depends on what I need, but I knew I needed something with some ground, like like c concrete under the people. Because that's, that's one of the things that really bugs me when I'm taking pictures, is that the ground is always the hardest part. If you're not careful with your ground or your floor, it always ends up looking out of scale. It looks like, right, it's not contained. And even even a lot of my videos here with my black, my black uh, desk topper, it's getting a little dirty. I need to clean that thing up. <laughs> but I use this black desk topper because to, it's very minimalistic. It, it doesn't stand out much. But even if you get a good look at it, you know, it doesn't exactly look like blacktop or anything. 
need something that looks like some floor sometimes. And that was kind of the idea here is that I needed some concrete with a wall behind it. And so that's what I did. And likewise, I needed uh, I needed a custom of myself, so I figured out how to do it. And 3D printing, man, there, even now, you know, I know how to do this. But there's so many things, so many guys doing better than what I can even do, right? There's so much to learn. So many, so many different machines and, and programs and, whew, it's definitely a deep rabbit hole. But I def if you, if you think you got it in you, I would definitely recommend it. If, if you're good at learning and picking up new hobbies, it's worth a try. How many of you guys are, uh, 3d printing do you make your own models or do you uh you go on thingiverse and and print off of those models you do some remixes i know there's a few other sites i don't have a lot of experience with the other sites though uh cults and whatever but uh i just wanted to see what you guys are thoughts on 3d printing and uh well what do you think about my models what do you think about uh Myself custom. Oh, no, I won't focus. There we go. All right. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. Uh, keep playing with them toys. I'll talk to you again real soon.